Hey guys, what's up? It's Jezza here and welcome to a new FIFA 13 Norwich City Manager Mode episode. And uh, this is my first season, episode number three. And as you guys can see on the screen, we're still in the transfer window and Real Madrid have actually bought quite a few players. They're interested in David Silva and they've actually just signed David Silva. But if you guys saw before, they actually signed Luis Suarez from Liverpool as well. And uh, I really don't see why they keep buying all these players. I mean, these clubs, in a way, it's kind of stepping backwards. I think the players at, um, at Real Madrid are better than David Silva. Like Modric, I think he's better than David Silva. I think there's there's quite a few more. Obviously, I've got Ronaldo, who is completely amazing. Like, the best player on the, in the world, other than Messi. Um, so, they really do have a lot of talent at Real Madrid. And they don't need to splash the cash that much. And I don't see why they are. But here we go, against QPR, Norwich v QPR. It is a, it's a Premier League game, and we really do need to win every Premier League game, especially against teams like QPR, and uh, it will be quite frustrating if we lose. Um, but here we go, nothing really does happen in these few starting minutes. Uh, equal equal chances for both teams, but here we go. Pilkington, a nice little through ball down to Mattox, and he always has the speed to catch up with that. He flicks it back to Houlihan, but unfortunately the little Irish man can't finish that. Um, on the 60th minute, Tete takes a nice little 30-yard shot, but that misses as well. Nothing really did happen until the 67th minute when Julio Cesar, the goalkeeper, takes a goal kick and uh, you'll see what happens in a second. Here we go. He just boots it down. Normal free, uh, normal goal kick. But somehow, the uh, QPR striker outmuscles my centre-back right here and uh, Cisse shoves him to the ground like the boss black man that he is and he scores bottom left-hand corner. I really don't think that should be the case in, uh, and it's on the, it scored on the 69th minute just to take the piss that little bit more. Um, but that really is one of those bullshit goals that you get on FIFA. I accept it if the computer scores a nice goal, but that was just awful. And that is how it finished in this game. 1-0 to QPR, and it was really a shocking, shocking result. We really needed to win that one, but you know... We can make up for that with a, a few victories, maybe at Arsenal or Man United. Maybe, it's, it's unlikely, but um, you never know. Stuff happens in this season and uh, there's some fluke results. But here we go, Elliot Bennett really isn't happy at his role at the club. And he really is worried about his position, and so is Mark Bunn. And unfortunately, I don't really have many plans to many. Yeah, I don't have many plans to play um, Elliot Bennett or Mark Bunn in uh, many Premier League games. But I do have a Doncaster game coming up, and it is a Carling Cup game. So I think I'm going to give um, Elliot Bennett and Mark Bunn a little chance. And here we go. I just put them in. And uh, the game has started now against Doncaster. We should really be smashing this. And if we can, we would like to win a couple of trophies this uh, this season. Even if they're not, you know, we're obviously not going to get the Premier League title this season. I'm aiming for that within the next couple of seasons. Uh, you know, I've got high expectations for this club, um, even though we do have a low budget. But unfortunately, guys, somehow Doncaster score. I have no idea how they did that. 24th, 24th minute, it's another one of those bullshit goals where if you guys have a look here, my centre-back does actually do a little slide tackle, but it misses completely, completely pointless Michael Turner. He hasn't been having the best run of games recently, he's made a bit he's made a, a bit of a fool of himself. But here we go, so great save by, uh, by Mark Bunn there, but unfortunately, <sighs> it goes 2-0 to Doncaster. That was really two bullshit goals that really shouldn't have happened. But, you know, you, you win some, you lose some, I guess. And uh, for this episode, I'm not really doing too well. But Bennett, he shows his attacking potential and he does run down that wing really well. Bennett, he's, he's low on energy, but oh well, he crosses it down. Or he does cross it in a minute. Does he cross it? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. He passes it back to Johnson, who then sets up Tete for, for Mattox, who takes a shot. But unfortunately, it doesn't actually score. But then he gets the rebound and he does score in the 35th minute, just to give us that little bit more hope. And uh, when, when they were 2-0 up, I really thought that that was just game over. But Mattox, well done, Darren Mattox. He's a 19-year-old striker for anyone who's completely forgotten about, uh, forgotten about this series. I signed Darren Mattox and Emmanuel, uh, Emmanuel Eterbe, I think his name is, who's a right winger, and Mattox is a striker. And they are two very promising uh, signings for, for our Norwich City squad, and they're both youngsters. Um, so that was a good goal by him. But here we go. So Tete, he just crosses it down to Mattox again, and obviously his pace is going to catch up with that. And then he does a little, a little fake shot and easy little, easy shot for him there. Easy goal. He's going to score them every single time. 10 out of 10 times he will score from there. Maybe the goalkeeper should have saved that. That's quite close to him. But, you know, whatever. It's a Doncaster keeper, so he's, he's, he's not rated that great on this game. But here we go. So it goes into extra time in the uh, Carling Cup because it's a Carling Cup game. And I decide... You know, I really need to keep Mattox and uh, Wes Houlihan fit for the Premier League games. So, I'm going to give Holt a little chance. And he has a... He needs to show me how good he is to just stay even in the sub-bench, even on the sub-bench. So, I, I gave him a bit of game time. So, I took um, Houlihan off for Halson and I brought... 
Grant Holt on for Mattox, and what do you know, Bennett skills past the left back and gives it to Grant Holt who scores the winner on the 105th minute and I'm not sure if it does stay like that, you'll have to wait and see, but Grant Holt, nice little goal, not, maybe not the best goal in the world, but well set up, I wouldn't call that a Jew goal, um, not quite, but you know, it was kind of on those lines. Um, and there we go on the 120th minute. It does look like we're going to win the game. And that is actually a free kick here to Norwich. I thought I'd won the game there, but no. Um, so here we go. Just take this quick free kick. And does the game end now? Does it end now? Does it end now? Does it end now? Just wait for it. Give it a couple of seconds. And there we go. The final whistle has gone. Uh, that was a really interesting game. Good game. Good game that against Doncaster. We, should, we really should have uh, cleared the game up ages ago. But, uh, yeah, that's about it for this episode, guys. If you guys would like longer episodes, then please tell me in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll have a new episode of Career Mode out tomorrow. And uh, it's an interesting one, so I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.